In D.C., lawmakers are taking aim at gun regulation again. But senators hope it speaks to gun owners in a different way. Reporter Julian Patas explains. After the mass shooting that happened in Lewiston, Maine this October, lawmakers are growing impatient and want to see change. Senator Martin Heimrich says there have been more mass shootings than days in 2023. Far too many Americans and communities from Lewiston, Maine to Farmington, New Mexico have lost loved ones in mass shootings. Senator Heinrich says enough is enough and wants to do something about gun violence in the country. You know, the lawmakers have introduced the Go Safe Act, which if passed would regulate the sale, transfer and manufacture of gas operated semi-automatic weapons. The gas operation is where a gun uses the gas pressure from the exploding gunpowder to eject the empty case, allowing the next round to move into firing position. These gas operated mechanisms are what allow civilian mass shooters to walk into public spaces, destroy human life at a rapid pace, and even outgun law enforcement. This bill also limits most guns to 10 rounds or less, as well as the modifications it could have. Leaders at the state level have some questions about this bill. Criminals are not going to obey any of this, and you won't be able to reload your firearm with more rounds to defend yourself quickly. State Representative Stephanie Lord says this law goes against gun owners rather than punishing criminals with illicit weapons. And instead of us being tougher on them, uh, on the Democrat side, they seem to keep pushing to be softer on crime and letting them out on the streets. The bill states it would protect Americans' constitutional right to own a gun based on the gun and its use for self-defense, hunting, or sports purposes. Republican Party of New Mexico Chairman Steve Pierce telling KOAT, until Senator Heinrich and other Democrats shift their focus to cracking down on the out-of-control crime they have enabled, band-aids like the Go Safe Act will have no effect except to continue the assault on the Second Amendment rights of law-abiding Americans. Heinrich poses the question, when will change be done? I think we've really painted a bright line between weapons of war and traditional firearms. Hunter says the Go Safe Act is being discussed with Republicans to gauge their support for a measure like this. In the studio, Julian Paras, KOAT Action 7 News. Heinrich is working on this bill with senators from Maine, Colorado, and Arizona.